Hi everyone, welcome to our live streaming today. My name is Dong Hui Kim, Managing Director of Process Asia Pacific. Hi everyone, my name is Martin Mark Kramer. I am the Area Sales Manager here in Singapore. A very welcome our service here. Hi everyone, nice meeting everyone here. My name is Ray and I'm a technologist from Proxus Asia Pacific. The two spaces everyday use, our ancestors were using CERT for washing mouse. As you know, the CERT is mild, mild abrasive to remove the stains from the dirt from the teeth. Today, there are many different kinds of two spaces available. So Martin, what kind of toothpaste available in the market these days? Yeah, we have, we say, whitening toothpaste, we have teeth repair toothpaste, we have gum protection toothpaste, of course, we have the children toothpaste and mm -hmm. some other kinds, but this is about the most, we say, important parts, uh, the most important toothpaste, what you find on the market these days. Yeah, yeah right. So there are thousands of different kinds of toothpaste, and today, this live streaming is all about how is to make toothpaste with our Freema Chroma Dynex machine. So Martin, yes. uh, can you please explain about the Freema Chroma Dynex machine? About? Of course. Is that so, a machine that we are going to yes, use today? Yes, correct. We okay. say, this is, we say really here, the Freema Chroma Dynex lab machine. This is the smallest size, what we have in this design or with this machine type. Um, mm -hmm. This machine is, we say, very well for all the R&D centers, yes. because later on you can do very nice scale-ups. But of course, oh, for startup companies, you can start a small production okay. and very easily here. Very good. Yeah. All right. And actually, the machine is consists of this uh, quite uh, complexity, but uh, yeah. you are able to make it very straightforward. The yeah, explanation. I really explain now, it. What are the, these two silos next to the machine? Correct. We say I do it really briefly here. We can yes. go. We say more detail. We say when we might talk uh, freely here. We have in the middle here the we say the main mixing mm -hmm. vessel. We have on the side the two side hoppers. One we say for the wet ingredients and the other one for the dry ingredients. Like a liquid paste. Yes, this is by toothpaste here, yeah, quite a lot of main okay. dose of, of um, amount of uh, liquids and of course of powder, silicates later on what we fill in here. So both we say is this machine is, uh, we say, a vacuum mixer, means later on we will always mix everything in a closed system. So the machine has a vacuum function feature, yes. so it actually de-aerating product. Correct. So means okay. there's really producing in their own vacuum and will produce later on mm -hmm. all the products, what you produce are mixed in the machine under vacuum so that you don't get all these air bubbles we say in. So this means uh, you have a very smooth and Fabulous. very nice product at the end, a very high quality of course too. We say this one you bring mm -hmm. like later into the side hoppers, into the machine via the vacuum through the homogenizer. The ah, homogenizer so is built in here to underneath. To separate, it's a water phase yes. and a dry phase. Correct. But all goes into this Correct. homogenizer. Homogenizer chamber. underneath what is the design. And from okay. the homogenizer later on, we have a brick mixing stage. We have a, a, a duration, we say in a homogenizing stage here behind and a pumping we have, we say, in the, uh, behind as a look pumping here. effect there. Yeah. Yeah, this is the animation. It. You yeah. actually have have a look at this. Yeah, this, this is, is a homogenizer. Correct. Okay. You see this rotor and the stator on the side. Mm -hmm. oh, so whenever you have any question, yeah. you could type it in this uh, YouTube because this is a uh, live streaming. Yeah. And uh, the most advantage that the live streaming is about, we are able to react, you know, uh, instantly. Yeah. So please raise the questions. Please. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think this is about is general machine explanation. Yes, correct. We say from the home organizer, okay. we recirculate it and we say into the main mixing vessel here. And we say then, yeah, you yeah. could use, we say, all well, the different types. Last question I yeah. have, and that is a little box over here. Oh, is yes, a correct. <laughs> okay. This is, we say, and of course, everything, we say, where you key in all the parameters. From there, you can control. Also, we say the whole machine means you can key in there the vacuum, mm. you can the speed from the home organizer. You can we say, see later on when you have a, a double jacket inside, when you heat up or cool down something, the temperature. So we have all the control over the control. So operator, panel here. just yeah? get ready for the ingredients and yes. dump into these Please. two hoppers. Because then it is easier also to see how it works. And, uh, yeah, and that's it, right? Yeah. And as we say, and that the rest of the job is the machine does. 
Yep, 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 normally. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. All right. And I think that we have actually gone through uh, with, about the machine, but if you have uh, more questions and you know where to ask, okay? Yes, please. And then I have uh, one question right now because we are going to make a children to space. Yep. Um, and in your perspective, why do we need a children to space? First of all, I think this is the most important part is uh, the abrasive, less abrasive part. You don't need this. What does it mean of the abrasive? This is normally to remove the stain on your yes. teeth. So it means okay. uh, when you this are young. It's kind of like ascending it. Yes, right? correct. When you are young, you don't have these this stains so much, we say, mm -hmm. on your teeth. You must more clean, we say, from food and not from any coffee or tea or something, what makes your coloring the, the, the teeth at the end. And of course, less abrasive means also leather particles inside what later the children swallow down. Means yeah. everything what is... My son does, anyway. Yeah, this is the age <laughs> between two and six years. Um, they have not this reflex to spit everything out so that they like more to swill it down. Eating it. Yeah, to eat it. And this is why it's very important that you don't have so many what we say, chemicals or mm -hmm. products or parts inside, it's all put more like a food product. Uh, so it's obviously, it's a careful selection of ingredients and yes. formulation is very much needed. Put it out these days more natural way and yeah, yeah make it And obviously more that's the reason why that we are uh, demonstrating this children friendly yes. juice paste. Yes, correct. Okay. And you will see how easy it can be uh, uh, the recipe and how easy of course and how fast you can produce it with Definitely. Yep. Ray, uh, you right. actually mentioned, and um, it is very easy, right? Always yes. we are talking about yes. the process is always easy and simple. Now, you need to tell me that the easy, you know, three distinctive process steps with this Freema Chroma Dynex right. machine. Right. Uh, due to the um, capacity of our Dynex lab here, we are actually able to design our process mm -hmm. into a very simple three steps process. Okay. But uh, before I go into the process, uh, let us go through um, the ingredients. Fantastic. Shall we? Yeah. So as you can see here, um, we have glycerol, we have water as the as a humectant. Okay. Um, calcium carbonate as an abrasive. Ah, Zenton so gum. Calcium carbonate is now the agent of uh, abrasive material. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Xanthan gum, carrageenan, algin as the thickener, okay. and we have a natural calendula flower extract as an anti-inflammatory agent. Mm -hmm. Sweet almond oil, uh, limonene as a flavoring. Right now, so just let me mention, uh, there's a three-step mm -hmm. process that we are going to do with this okay. uh, product. So here is what we're going to do. Step one, it would be the pre-blend between. Uh, the glycerine okay. and the thickeners as well as the oil. The pre preparation is a preparation of these uh, water phase first. Um, it's the liquid phase. It's, yeah, it's the it's actually to disperse the gum mainly, okay. and actually glycerine contains a very very low ah. content of water. Is okay. just around zero point three percent, so yeah. it's a very effective dispersion agent for the thickener. Because in the end of the day, we want the thickener to be really really all well hydrated mm -hmm. yeah. yep so that that leaves us uh, that brings us to the second step the water so when the water goes in it will react with the thickener so it will get thickened in this stage yeah. yeah so, so i see that is a challenge is uh, uh, is might that the process that creating of the lumps because there is a amount of the powders yeah. And yeah. into the you know mass with a you know what yes. you know yeah. is liquid phase this is That's why the yeah. mixability is very important yeah and taking very important uh, yeah, of uh, factors in yeah. the completions of the process. Yeah, and it's of course with this machine we can effectively uh, disperse the gum. Ah, and and okay. you will have a look at the result later on yeah. when we are done Exciting. with the process. Yes. Yeah. Exciting. And, yeah, so that is step number two, the water and the okay. extract goes okay. in. Yeah. And uh, step number three, the final step would be the calcium carbonate, the abrasive. Yep. So that is the last one is uh, uh, which actually it brings a abrasive material yeah. uh, added into it. So mm -hmm. uh, to make the mass in the first place and adding active ingredients into it later. Right. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. So this is uh, basically the generic uh, the formulations and based on the type of the product, you are always able to uh, modify and then change this with the recipes. And this is uh, our strength that we are able to sharing with you with the 
process and then uh, formulation together. Okay, so uh, Ray, I allow you to, since this process is very short, and mm -hmm. what is the batch time? I would say around seven minutes in seven. total. Yeah. So even uh, below 10 minutes. Yeah. So it's yeah. very fast, like yeah. dosing ingredients. So whenever you are dosing ingredient, can yeah. you please just give a signal, like you can say that what are the ingredients you are adding it. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, cool. so okay. we start processing now. Yes. Yes. So Are you all ready for that? Okay. <laughs> Let's start it. Let's well, start. So Let's in order it. to save some time, we have actually did the pre-blend in at once. Okay. So first, this is step number one, the pre-blend between the glycerin and the thickeners. Ah. And of course, the, what is that? The limonene, the oil. Okay. And the almond oil. So yeah. all the, uh, basically the preparation is uh, include the, yep. those are the water phase, yeah. the liquid phase products. And actually, the, the camera that to show the separately with, uh, with from the top view. Yeah, we go show. Come from later, the top, number the yes. camera on, then you can see it nicely later also how yeah. it goes in the machine. You can okay. see when the vacuum goes on, we say is in, how we get sucked very yes. fast, we say into the machine. Yeah, no? But in the meantime, uh, Martin. Yes. Um, you know, there are so many factors yeah. to define the type of the toothpaste. Yeah. And as you are the industry expert and uh, looking at the consumer's perspective, yeah. what are the factors is the most important? I would say one of the most important parts here by toothpaste is the drying tendency. This means toothpaste must always be nicely, uh, we say, spreadable or bring it out of the tube. And uh, this, oh, oh. So just, now we hear the sound is uh, yeah. yes, so the same, these, we say, uh, ingredients. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is important, we say, to bring it out later, the toothpaste on your toothbrush. There and, was time yeah. before the pandemic, I was in the hotel, yeah. the toothpaste was like, like a rock cement. Yes, this can happen, we say, when you, we say, do it not right then. And that is possible, we say, when the formulation is not the right one. But also, there's another time, yeah. there's a disposable toothpaste. It's so watery. Yeah. It was really, yeah. I was really feeling that maybe something is wrong. It's the opposite then, where yeah. we say, when you get a separation. This means when there's not well mixed, and the particle, we say, special droplet sizes are not small enough, so that you can, we say, separate after we store it over a long time. Yeah. So is processing of two space is almost like working at the edge yeah. that is a, this side is a, like a cement that the yeah. other side is too watery. So need to have a really a right guidance in the Correct. formulations. Yeah. Okay. This is why you see it also, we say in our recipe, we have a quite high amount of liquid here. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, also as I'm a father and with two young kids yeah. and they, hate to you know brush the teeth yeah. every day yeah so for me is a very important factor is first of all as a children perspective color taste taste is i think more important here because those uh, are very important yeah. factor because before yeah. looking at abrasive or mm. removing stains yeah. they got to like it first yes this is the point because a child especially the smaller child they will give you a very fast and very straight statement to something here exactly. when they like it or they don't like it and this is we say important part to teach them we say that they like it and this is important and that you get a toothpaste what they really also like to put in their mouth and uh, like to start to brush Absolutely. the teeth at the I agree end. with you. Yeah, this so is. how does the uh, environment of colorings and flavoring does it Enable, I mean, the machine uh, enables to make this process. Yes, you can mix and we say put everything together in this machine. The question is only really like your, your recipes and your ideas what you have. What okay. we did, we say here, is uh, that we did. By the way, yeah, now sure we are adding there. something. This Wait, is, what is it? This is yeah. water and uh, calendula extract. Very good. Maybe yeah. we can re we actually stated that. Yeah. How much water contains in this whole process is by water is 42.60, yeah. 42.6 percent. Yeah. So this, it's actually a lot of water is contained. Yeah. So this is a very easy and also cheap recipe at the end. Can well, you say? I think because, that uh, is a maybe is a some our yeah. clients. I mean, our yeah. customer asking, can I add more water in it? <laughs> 
there is always good. You see, you, you must play around with the recipes later yeah. on, everything. Sure, you can yes. find or something else here. You can improve something. This is yes. only like you now to show something here. Ah, now, this is. Are we already at the last stage? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. You gotta catch now, up, Nong Hui. This is a cashew <laughs> carbonate yeah. that Ray is now adding it to the, the silo. This is for the dry ingredients. Powder. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. We see Anoma from the top now. Yeah, there. The last the material which function as abrasive <coughs> that removing uh, the stains. Yeah. And now you can see this gets straight mixed into the liquid phase here. Okay. So it goes really fast. You don't stand on top of yeah. the we say For the other two space yeah. and then of course what what is the uh, normal abrasive material that you are using? But a normal toothpaste here. Yeah. We of course we have more we say fluid and other parts inside. Silicas. Yeah, silicas and, yes. and other parts. What is not this we say not we say uh, good we say for smaller children when the amount is too high. Okay. And this is why it's always better we have always lesser than yeah. Yeah. maybe can you read out the questions? Uh, when adding the powder ingredients such as uh, silica or carbonate, let me actually any other powders, get there and can look the at flexible it. horses to use directly instead of using power poppers. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, we have your suction lenses where you can put in later on inside also and best is the suction lens and not only that you have a hose. Uh, we have something here also in our options that you can we say bring it in like this over suction lenses. Yes, this is possible. Yeah. You don't need always to have here a uh, side hopper. Even there is a liquid phase that we are able to, for example, there is an amount of oil and can have a separate silo yeah. that using by means of a flow meter that you are able to dose the ingredients automatically to the chamber. Yeah. Yeah. So then they're asking just regarding the RPMs here. So we're starting with the RPM. Ah, we have a question from Arianto. This was Arianto, Arianto. yes. Yeah, yes. from yeah. Arianto. Sorry. Thank you, Arianto, for your question. Yeah. We start, we say, with the RPMs here. When you start a machine to feed him, you start with 3,000? We started at 2,500, 2500 for, the, okay. for step number one and yeah. step number two. Yeah. And then before we proceed to step number three, we increase the speed to 4,000 RPM. Okay. Yep. Until 5,000, this machine can, we say, uh, uh, homogenize or the rough revolution is until 5,000 by the small machine. And, uh, yeah, this is how many say. bar? Yeah, we are yeah. doing at 100 millibar. Yeah. 100 millibar, in other words, applying of the vacuum 90 percent. So, yeah. we are applying that very aggressive uh, vacuums in here, yeah. right? And then I have another question hmm? is, is uh, a lot of there, a lot of startup companies are you know coming up, yes, and and then obviously, as a toothpaste is a, is a very classical and conservative market, also yeah. is a high barrier for market entry. Yes. But these days, a lot of social medias, you know, the market channeling is being very diversified. Yeah. So what is your recommendation for the startup companies? So we say you can start really with this small Dynex lab machine, what we have here, but you can go to the next bigger size. The next bigger size is the Dynex 80 five here and this is a 60 liters uh, we say uh, batch size then later on mm -hmm. and this means now when we now we need just 10 minutes for mm -hmm. one batch and then okay. you have we say 60 liters so it means times in one hour you can make three, 360 liter ready then and what is the capacity of this machine this is 12 liters 12. here it means 12 liter batch please huh? 12 liter and 10 batches, uh, what is the capacity, uh, Ray? 12, what is the question again? What is the total capacity for this uh, Dynex machine lab? 12, 12, 12 minutes. Yeah. 12 is a batch time, batch and what time. is hourly capacity? Uh, 12, maybe 6 batches, yes. 72. Fantastic, <laughs> you have a very good arithmetic. Yeah, very easy. Okay. <laughs> and next question Small is, uh, here. Yeah. surfaction to so be added to yeah. the uh, what stage? Surfactant. All right. For this recipe, uh, we don't add surfactant. Yeah. Uh, surfactant, it serves the function to retain the product when you brush the teeth. That is a function. But in this recipe, we don't put surfactant. But if you want to put surfactant, it should be added in the end 
mm -hmm. of the process. Is it before the abrasive material? It's before the abrasive. Before yeah. the abrasive, that we add the surfactant. Yeah. Okay. And then let it uh, mix a little bit. Yeah. Very good. Just now, okay. uh, there was actually, we are showing the, the top view actually inside. Can you just show? Yeah. One other question. Was it actually uh, shown, shown already? Okay, yeah, very good. Okay. Well then. okay. Yeah. It's this is really good. shown then. And the other question is now for forming toothpaste. What you put okay, in good. for the forming? You see? For forming toothpaste. For forming toothpaste, right, uh, we actually add the surfactant SLS. Mm -hmm. But uh, in this case, um, how we prevent the foam is we add in, we add in into the machine, but we don't, we don't use the, what is that? We don't pass through the homogenizer. Yeah. So it's we don't- bypassing it. Yeah, we just bypass it. Mm -hmm. There's a bypass function for it. Mm -hmm. Also, the industrial machine, there is uh, the processing loop that yeah. uh, it doesn't go through the, there's a bypass loop. Yeah. So the material doesn't pass through the homogenizer. Yeah. We have our different designs, we say, from the homogenizer also, we are like the, the V-type, where you can open later on also Another the rotor stage. Is, uh, yeah. Who is it? Uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Miguel Shah. What is the cost of the machine? That is the right question actually <laughs> you are asking. Well, uh, is, uh, we are going to, because this, um, we deal with the food machines and uh, health and personal care machines, but the health and personal care machine, it, it, the cost of the machine is varied because uh, there are uh, so many uh, uh, different uh, configurations and the document certification is, uh, or is uh, requires depending on each different country. Yeah. So um, that is the reason that uh, you have a right contact us with uh, Mr. Martin Krama. Please. And yep. you could uh, write a separate email yep. to uh, asking your type of the uh, tooth space that you intend to, you are interested, then we will uh, make a rough uh, uh, budget uh, pricing for you. Yeah, because there are so many regulations where you must uh, take care, and this is also the price later on on these machines because of all these regulations what must be fulfilled later on. Mm -hmm. uh, with our machine and then the price is really totally different here uh, from country to country or from we say mm -hmm. which type of regulation later you need. This Mr. Shali, Mr. Shalishi, yeah. uh, thank you very much for your question. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, the capacity and mm -hmm. the cost uh, of the machine, uh, we will be uh, sending you the separately, yes. uh, send us the emails. Yeah. Uh, what we will do is the, basically the Maybe uh, Martin, you yeah. could tell what are the you know capacities. I mean, a machine size from the lab to the uh, the, 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 the biggest. Maximum. We say what we have by the Dynex at the moment is, is ten thousand. Means really ten tons batch here. This is the largest one. Of course, the most uh, with by the toothpaste companies have around two point five to five thousand liters. And yeah. um, what is we say a good value? We say what a good batch size mm -hmm. for the production here. So this is the most common in the big say, size, uh, production sizes. But by the smaller producer, they have then the Dynex 700, means mm. with 500 liter yeah. batches then here. Okay. So we can produce quite really a lot here. Right well, another question is, all yeah. right, as our industries, they yeah. have formulated, tested the mm -hmm. product with the lab machine. Is this formulation can be applied to the upscaled machine or not? Yes, it's very easy to upscale later yeah. on. We say with the small machines, a lot of R&D centers by the big companies have this machine, we say in the R&D, uh, we say uh, yeah. department, yeah. and from there, we say they can easily upscale it later on for their production. Okay. Yeah. Mari, you could type the uh, Martin's email. Okay, that's yeah, already done. Very yeah. in there, Super. please. Very please, good. we say contact us here, me especially here, and yes. uh, we, I go with all of them, uh, with all of you, as I say here, okay. in contact, and we can discuss more yeah. in detail because the time is not, I think, enough here. This yeah. is only to, to show uh, what we can do here and what the machine can do, okay. and then the next part we say we will do more in detail. It looks like I hear that the silence from the machine. Then, I have been waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, actually, it's been already there yeah, and really waiting fast, for yeah. us to just. What yeah. we need is now we need to check that the end product. Yeah. Okay. Yes, where, where is the actually outlets of the products? The outlet of the product is at the bottom of the yep. machine. Okay. Straight under the uh, okay. under the home So of course, here. in the commercial uh, mm -hmm. machine integration is. Uh, Piping is connected to directly to the uh, two filling machine. Mm -hmm. So it's a hundred ten percent or hundred percent is closed loop system. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks perfect. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I can see that. Yes, very good. In this, just 
It said, looks like yeah. it looks like a mayonnaise to me. <laughs> but the, the reason that we made it this yeah. is a color is a for for presentation. Yeah. We also able to make the you know transparent version and then also with colorings. But this formulation is very you know is general yeah. um, formulation. So we are as I mentioned that is you know uh, my children wouldn't actually take that as a toothpaste made need of like a strawberry color. Yeah. Grapes and an and tasteful. Yeah. So the question is, uh, Mr. Mr. So Wusok uh, from definitely I can see that from yeah. Korea yeah. Uh, is asking in order to use a flexible hose to add the powder ingredient. Yeah. Can I buy this assembly for it? Yes, we say this is what is uh, via yes. a suction lens, lens because a lens is more at the end we say more stable. You don't yes. have these hoses. What is the later too fipsily? So it means you need a the, we say a proper. Uh, lens yes. because then you can this easily for us we have this all in our we say options here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we more? And then Mr. Mihail Shah, yeah. I'm interested in toothpaste manufacturing cream and ointment. Yeah. Aiming is to fasten the process. Oh nice. Yes. This is all of course everything product. So this means this machine is not only done or produced or designed we say to do toothpaste. So any ointments, any creams, shampoos, body lotions or any, uh, we say, color cosmetics, you also you can really produce everything, if we say, on our Dynex. Maybe it's good that, yeah. what else the Dynex machine can, you know, deal with? What are the products that it mach the Dynex machine can do? We say, all what is just <laughs> any ointments, mm -hmm. we say, yes. any creams, any, we say, lotions. Like a, like a hydrogel, yes. moisturizers. Correct, correct, okay. correct, correct. Say, any shampoos, for example, any shampoos. Also, and body lotions. But for this, uh, of course, this machine definitely is not a cheap machine. Yeah. So uh, definitely is uh, to uh, high value added product has to be deal with this machine. Yeah. So uh, for example, like a toothpaste with a function, yeah. kind of like a gum protection, yeah. children a toothpaste, kind of premium product mm -hmm. so that your yield is uh, generated. So concept of this uh, Dynex machine is mm -hmm. to uh, capturing the diversified product, mm -hmm. targeting premium product, mm -hmm. and then where you are able to deliver your uh, the product with the higher yield. Mm -hmm. Because um, as per the machine, uh, the production rate, the as you see that the even smaller capacity machine is uh, able to produce what you mentioned, the Dynex 85. Yeah is uh, hourly capacity is uh, approximately 360 liter basis. Yeah, this is just this question I see just here also. Uh, we say when we do it now here with 10 minutes, when we go to the bigger one, the, the size so we Mr. say... Mr. Salishi. Yeah, Salishi. Thank you very much for yeah. your question. Um, they will be the same then also. It means when we go now to the bigger machine, because everything from the piping or what a homogenizer, everything will be, if you say from the size here, bigger than what we have here. And so uh, we must calculate because, but roughly you can say really it's just the same time. But yeah. Yeah. you will be able to get in more information yeah. for the next upcoming our webinar, mm -hmm. which is organized by our ProTech yes. on 23rd of June. You can see it here already inside. Please, yes. um, this is three days really a, a very intense with a, a seminar. So how, how can they, I mean our participants can join the webinar. Please write us in an email so that you will say register and we will say register you then in this seminar inside here. Then you get an, an yeah, uh, we say in feedback from us how you can go in our, or you can participate in our seminar here. We say this is three days, 23, okay. 24 and 25th. There are different, we say, seminar and topics here and they are really detailed, much detailed what we're doing today here. Okay. And this is why it's yes, super this interesting. Is, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is a, a question to Ray. What's the best, uh, Mr. Mr. Supaki? Supaki uh, what's the best process design to add a thickener uh, face. face at the beginning or last step? In the beginning thickener. or the last step? Uh, I would advise uh, from what we are doing here, I would advise to add it in the beginning. Yeah. And of course, it's a difference based on the type of the product, though. It, yeah, it depends on some of the recipes mm. might be a little bit different. But for mm. this case, um, for our recipe, it's the best practice to add it in the beginning itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next what is one? the main difference between normal toothpaste and children toothpaste? Sugiyamo Razo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you. Yeah, right you. Um, the main difference between normal toothpaste and sugar toothpaste, what I've just oh, in a, from the start a bit told you is uh, exactly. that we have, we say less, of course, or zero uh, fluids inside. Yeah. Because this is the one part what normally you don't need at this also stage. Also abrasive material. Yes, the abrasive because material. Here we don't actually use uh, yeah. the silica. Yeah. Um, we rather we use the, the calcium carbonate. So bringing like mild abrasive material for children to space. Yeah. Mr. Anupama Singh, can can humectant and uh, a binder premix to be done in this machine, or it's a separate process? Yeah, you can, you can, it can be done in this machine. So, so answer is uh, can be done with this machine yeah. without any separations. Yeah, please. So is um, the Dynex machine is obviously is all in one basis. Yeah. Mixing, dispersing, and as well as uh, de uh, uh, rating yeah. So it all comes in one. Yeah. So you can always, we say, everything on the machine. Of course, sometimes you have different steps that you can shorten down the batch Actually, time. Actually, it's already cutting, eliminating like upstream and downstream because yeah. that is a process is all combined in here. We like to do it, we say, in one closed system so that you don't have any errors. We say nothing can fall in in the production. Of course, the smaller you keep your production, the lesser errors you can have anywhere. So it means when you have 10 different vessels, you have 10 different, we say, uh, Okay, Saddam is mistake. asking, yeah. sorry, any recipe booklet? I mean, uh, we, we could share which is a general uh, recipes and formulations. Yeah. However, this, some country uh, like America, this toothpaste is categorized as a pharmaceutical. Yeah. So it has a, actually the act. Each different country do have a policy and act. Yep. Therefore, uh, this is a, a, we are able to give in a gene generic kind of formulations, but any kind of active solution yeah, has yeah. to be dealt by, uh, you know, approved uh, laboratory yeah, institute. Yeah, country regulation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But what we're doing also, in special, we say uh, in, in Germany, we have the really specialists sitting, they make our formulations for customer. It means customer can come to Germany, for example, and then they say, now we like to, to create a new toothpaste with repair or something exactly. else. So then they can do it really there over a few weeks. I wish I, yeah. I can go to the Germany yeah. soon yeah. in this time period. <laughs> and the reason actually also we are yeah. doing uh, live streaming is we like to get close to you yeah. because due to the pandemic period, we're not able to travel. No, yeah. this is the so, part. But when it's possible, right. of course, we say this is all possible, what we're doing by process here. Yeah. And uh, so we also can do formulations. Yeah. Yes. I think that this is now the time is, uh, yeah. uh, we actually set for uh, half an hour. Yeah. So we are going to wrap up our live streaming yeah. and more information that you need. And you are able to contact Martin Kramer. Please, the, always, the manager, please and get in contact. Uh, Ray Rin. Yeah, sure. And always we are here to giving us support. And also we are able to make a uh, dedicated product trial demonstration uh, with uh, respect of the confidentiality. Okay. And again, a special thanks to uh, my colleagues, Jack for filming mm -hmm. and uh, Marita also for this administration, yeah. Justin for all the camera equipment and uh, Nikki for the, all the lightning and setup here. Wait. And uh, with our team also making this is a new approach, uh, but we, our only aim is to uh, how we are able to giving you a solution. We are striving to finding how we are able to get close to you. So mm -hmm. this is one of the way, and we will make a further uh, improvement with your close feedback. So once again, um, I have uh, the <laughs> tube which is already filled into the tube here. Yeah. So I like to squeeze it. Yeah, they can see nicely the texture now. Yeah, look perfect like that. Yeah. So we are done today and we look forward to meet you again and face to face. But in the meantime, let us contact in through the social media uh, a video conference a phone call and we try to uh, giving you the best solution as much as we could again
Thank you very much for your participation. Yeah, thank you very much. We look forward to see you soon. We are Proxys. Proxys.